Cass, in just another muggy night out there. Are we going to get any relief tomorrow? No relief coming tomorrow, and I don't know if this is going to make you feel better or worse, but tomorrow is officially the first day of summer out there. <laughs> Although it seemed I like think it we've began. been saying it's summer. Yeah, it, it started <laughs> over the weekend. It started getting hot over the weekend, but yeah, uncomfortable heat going to continue basically around here through the end of the week. So summer kind of starting off with a bang, so to speak, with some of these hot temperatures. Radar outside. Quiet now. We had a few pop up downpours that flared up in the middle of the afternoon. But if you've gotten any rain the past several days, you are the exception versus the norm and you are living the life most folks want right now to get at least a quick shower. But opportunities just don't look that great. So here we are right now, still 81 officially in Lachlan, 81 in Colerain, 81 in Westchester, 78 in Mason. So it is another warm and steamy summer night. It feels more like maybe late July than late June out there. Area wide in the mid 70s as you get out away from the city, but obviously again in the urban heat island, it's a little bit warmer with those temperatures out there tonight. But we all have been spared the worst of this stretch of hot weather. And by that I mean our temperatures haven't just run away. We haven't seen the numbers above 95 degrees, close to 100 as was suggested thanks to cloud cover. And we've been telling you about this the past several days. Of course, over us this afternoon, we had that big canopy of clouds. And I think you have to remember tomorrow's the summer solstice, meaning the sun's as high in the sky as it gets this time of the year. And our day is as long as it gets this time of the, you know, for the year as well. So if you can get some cloud cover out there, it helps out tremendously because it keeps those temperatures down from reaching their max by about five to in some cases 10 degrees out there. So we have really been spared now. Unfortunately, I do think less cloud cover in the coming days, but we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. Regardless, it is going to stay hot, but hopefully we'll keep some clouds around. You'll see here on Futurecast, skies clear up tonight, but watch what happens tomorrow. Another little surge of cloud cover and tropical moisture. By that, I mean way up. Doesn't really provide us much rain, but again, anything that can block some of the insulation of the sun works in our favor. And you can see we will have at least some clouds tomorrow, but I don't think the canopy is as widespread and as dense, so more sun sneaks its way through and I think we'll probably top 90 officially tomorrow and then same deal in here on Friday with a little more sun temperatures may try to edge their way up towards the end of the week and into the weekend now right now the hottest we've been in this stretch officially is 93 so we'll see if we max that here the next couple of days and into the weekend there we are 79 here tonight. The rest of the night down through the 70s will go and anticipate another fast warm up tomorrow. Again, some of that could be mitigated by clouds. Fingers crossed that helps us out. Quiet and humid 72 tonight. Tomorrow, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. A few pop ups that heat index closer to 100 tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So essentially it stays hot into the weekend around here. A cold front comes into play Sunday and Monday with better opportunities for showers and storms. And in fact, we'll see if this holds, but there's the potential we get into more of a classic kind of late June, July weather pattern where we start tracking clusters of showers and storms again. If that happens, that would be good for us because we need some rain out here to help with our particularly dry conditions. Either way, Mike and Shree, next week is looking less hot I hesitate to say cool, but certainly less hot than this week. All right, Kevin, thank you very much for the optimism. Absolutely.